what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have two identical metal plates each of area a arranged parallel to each other very nice uh, as shown the lower plate is fixed upper plate is connected at its middle to one with a spring spring constant is k other end of the spring is attached to a fixed support when either of the two uh, sorry when either of the plates have no charge equilibrium distance between them is d okay let me draw the diagram first here mm -hmm. so these are the two plates distance while in equilibrium is d spring and connected with the battery like this let it be v okay so now the switch is closed to apply a voltage between the plates what maximum voltage in this way can be applied between the plates so that they would not touch each other okay so let me apply a voltage v which causes a flow of let us say q amount of charge from this plate to this plate which will result in compression between the two plates actually the distance between the two plates will decrease due to the force of attraction so let us consider that the final distance between the plates be dx okay so at this instant there is a positive charge plus q negative charge minus q here and we all know that work done on the system by all the external forces is utilized to increase its potential energy okay because initially the and as we have considered that the mass of the upper plate is negligible so we will not consider kinetic energy here so work done by the battery okay we know that work done by the battery on a capacitor is not completely utilized half of the energy is utilized because rest half of the energy is uh, lost due to heat now let us consider that keeping the voltage v constant we transfer small amount of charge dq from the negative plate to the positive plate which results in the increase of the potential energy inside the capacitor and this also results in decrease of the gap between the two plates by an amount dx so work done on these two plates by all the forces will be equal to the increase in potential energy inside the two plates so work done by the battery is vtq divided by 2 work done by the spring is because this distance was d minus x times dx negative sign because the force of the spring is in the upward direction and the displacement of this plate is in the downward direction and uh, q square by 2 epsilon naught times dx this is the force applied on the upper plate due to the lower plate as they, are, they have both equal and opposite charges so the electric field produced by the lower plate is sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught and the charge on the upper plate is sigma times a so that will give you sigma square by 2 epsilon naught times a that will be q square by 2 epsilon naught so this is the force applied on the upper plate due to the lower plate and the work done due to that force will be this one which is utilized to increase the electrostatic potential energy inside the two plates where dc is the increase in capacitance so we know that dq equals to v times dc so this equation becomes half dc v square minus k d minus x dx plus and one more thing q will be equal to c which is a function of x times v that is epsilon naught a divided by x times v so it will become epsilon naught a v by x whole square 2 a epsilon naught dx equals to half dc v square so this gets cancelled out so k d minus x times dx equals to epsilon naught a divided by x square times 2 
v square okay so v square is equal to 2k epsilon naught a x square into t minus x fine let us now differentiate both sides with respect to x that will give you this one so 2k divided by epsilon naught a 2x d minus x minus x square and uh, as we need to find out the maximum voltage with respect to x so this term must be 0 so we have 2x t minus x must be equal to x square so 2d minus 2x equals to x so x equals to 2d divided by 3 now we'll just put this value in this equation then we'll get the maximum value of the potential difference that can be applied across the plates so that both the plates does not hit each other so v square will be equal to or we can write v max square equals to 2k divided by epsilon naught a 2d by 3 whole square d 2d by 3 okay so 2k divided by epsilon naught a 4d square divided by 9 Mm, d by 3 so maximum value will be 2 divided by 3 root over 2 k d cube 3 epsilon naught a so this will be the maximum value between the two plates so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative thank you